Hi survivors, it's me Prepper Zan reporting to you. Hope you guys are doing well because what's going on in this world is not. And I'm here to bash these demon rats once again with all their lies and all their corruption. I just hope and pray some people listening to me today that, that was supporting that party. And I hope I can change your mind. Because these people are the worst thing that has happened. I want to say first of all to people of color. Now they the worst thing that happened to people all over. Just not here in America, all over the world. Y'all, these people are corrupt. Now, this stuff he talking about, he's sending our taxpayer dollars over there to that country. That money's been laundered. Allegedly. That's what's going on. And all the weapons they send, they sending over there. I'm gonna thank I'm gonna thank certain people for sending me this information, and I'm not gonna say it is who it is. I won't disclose this information. They not getting it, y'all. All this stuff is a scheme, and all this stuff is a setup with these politicians, allegedly. They corrupt, and y'all continue to let them uh, influence your life if you want to through lame stream media all they have to do is put out an agenda out there and everybody mad at one another it's like a divide and conquer and they do that to people so you guys won't focus on the real problems that we are all dealing with we have elderly people who can't take care of themselves right now because their monthly social security won't cover all their bills we have people who are hurting severely we have people who were middle class before this pandemic and now they sleeping out on the streets y'all these are our problems these are our people this is our these are our family members these are some of our co-workers these are some of the people that we go to church with these are some of the people that we grew up with who are struggling and who are hurting who are suffering right now all because of these politicians that y'all sit up here and keep on listening to I had somebody call me the other day. They want to argue with me behind this abortion stuff. I said, man, I don't have time to be arguing with you about that. I said, you're doing just what these people want you to do. Because the focus should be on what we need to be doing for one another and helping each other and stopping this system from cor cor corrupting and, and, and um, destroying people's lives. Anything they throw on that TV, y'all listen to it. Then y'all go to con con conversing about it. Then y'all get all in your feelings about it. These people don't give a damn about you, about me, about our communities, about our families. They're going to continue to push these ugly, nasty, filthy, evil agendas. And y'all keep going along with this stuff. Some of y'all just need to turn the freaking TV and the radio off. Because some of y'all, y'all don't have your own mind. You, you easily misled. You know, you listen to some, like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like a lot of our, our people listen to that rap music. And I'm not saying our rap music is bad because I grew up around rap music. I've toured with rappers. But those were the rappers from back in the day were positive. Well, not all of them was positive, but I'm just saying. Listen, this generation here, they listen to these lyrics. They go out here. They do what these people telling them to do in the records. End up going to jail, getting shot, or getting killed. And their mother and their family got to sit up here and deal with the consequences of it. A lot of y'all other people, y'all look at this TV and y'all listen to whatever these people tell y'all on that TV and y'all easily go and sway into that to that, that area what they trying to convince you in instead of having your own mind. And this is why we're in trouble to this day. They have divided the races. They have divided all of us with this sexism, with this classism, with this racism. We are all, we're supposed to be all children that God created, loving and helping one another, regardless of our sex, regardless of our, our nationality, regardless of our age, regardless of our, our class, as far as financial class, regardless of our gender, our genders, and regardless of our educational background, no matter where we grew up. But y'all look at this TV TV make black people look so bad. Everybody be thinking that all black people are, cri are criminals, are gangsters, are thugs. And y'all see that's not the case. 
Or they'll have all Spanish people look bad. Or they'll have a lot of white people looking a certain kind of way. And they do all this here on purpose. It's called divide and conquer. I'm not playing towards their narrative. I'm focusing on survivalism. Because that's what these days call for. And now with this weather manipulation, I'm like, God, I'm praying every day, talking to our Father. How do we survive this? They just had a big concert out here yesterday. The rock star passed out in the heat. People are dying in this heat. And it's not discriminating against millionaires or poor people. This boy is a millionaire. They had to stop the whole concert. People from all over the world flew out here to Texas to see them. Because, because during the pandemic, you know, all the artists and rappers and singers, they had to stop doing shows. So a lot of them were behind on money and, fa and facing bankruptcy and whatnot. They have put all of us in a terrible bind with all this nonsense foolishness they they have allowed in the world all of them came up with all this mess to destroy our lives and to populate the uh, earth allegedly now everybody's suffering the animals are suffering the trees are suffering nature's suffering the birds suffering suffering the other day you know out here in texas wake up you hear the birds chirping it'd be the most beautiful thing and during the day, you really don't see those birds like that. You know what I mean? And especially at night, you know. I heard a cry in a bird that was so severe. I don't know if that bird was just extremely hot. And there's nothing I could do about it. The bird was way up in the tree and it's like they was falling down. And I, I just want to just break out and cry. But it's nothing. It's like, what can you do about it? They destroying God's world. And we sit up here letting them do it. Won't stand up for nothing. I guess we'll all stand up when times get so severe. When we all out on the street. And we don't have any transportation. And then there's no water. And then there's no food. Because that's exactly where they want it to be. So they could go, we can go back in and run into them. And needing help. I'm asking y'all stop being influenced by these evil people man. Have your own life. Have your own mind. You know, focus on what you need to do to, to, to better yourself. Stop playing into these people's old evil narrative, man. These people are evil and they fake and phony. They don't care nothing about people. And stop voting for these folks, man. Y'all go down here, y'all standing long lines looking like some fools uh, voting for these people. These people don't give a dog on about you. And while you're voting for them, you're voting for them to corrupt your communities. Anyway, I hope y'all get y'all head on right, a lot of y'all. Stop being influenced by these politicians, allegedly. And use your own mind that God bless you with. God blessed us in abundance with everything we need. We don't need no politician telling us what to do. Just like what Abbott said. Our governor out here, he said, we, I don't think that the Texas people... The Texans didn't need the government to tell him what to do. He already know. We ain't having that out here. They got us suffering severely out here, y'all, with this heat, man. I'm telling y'all, if y'all in these hot areas, don't be going outside unless you have to. I haven't been going outside. I don't play that. I usually, y'all know when I be in New York and other places, I walk a lot. I've been walking in my house. I've been stretching in my house. I've been, matter of fact, I'm about to give me an exercise bike in here today. A stationary bike. Anyway, let me get ready for work. What time is it? Oh yeah, I ain't went off today. I hope I I hope I encourage y'all. You know, let God be your guide. Let God be your leader. You do what God's purpose in your life is to do. It ain't to follow these politicians. You don't need them to affect your mind and affect your uh direction. Let's let's think with the mind that God gave us today and let's Stick together and stop looking at each other as black, white, Spanish, this, and, 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 and look at each other as human beings. Let's love on one another. Let's pray more. Let's drink a lot of more water and take care of ourselves. Follow me on my other platforms. Links will be in the description. Now, don't be no dummy. Don't be no dummy listening to these demon rats, man. Or these other politicians, neither. 
Watch this world. Watch the weather. Smell your water. Boil your water before you use it. If y'all looking for land and bug out areas, I have some for sale. Links in the description. Follow me on Patreon for weekly survivalism classes. I'm dealing with grants now. Teaching you guys how to get some grants, some free money to take care of yourselves during this time. Let's love one another. Keep God, keep and put God first. Stay prayerful and uh, stay prepping and keep surviving.